Rocky. Don't ever do that again. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I am your host, Tunji Taylor Lewis. Um, y'all, I am coming to you guys today with a very, very, just a very, very heavy heart. First of all, spoiler alert. I'm about to talk about uh, Will Smith's new movie, uh, Gemini Man. Um, so if you are planning to go out and see it later, um, do not listen to this podcast, okay? Because I'm going to be giving out spoilers. I'm going to be talking about, you know, you know, stuff that happened in the movie. Um, so, spoiler alert. Um, now that that's been cleared, uh, I'm just... this. The movie wasn't good. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. The movie... Gemini Man by Will Smith. I was it was it was disappointing and I am just heartbroken to even do this podcast right now because as y'all know I am a huge Will Smith fan. I'm a I'm a Will Smith stan. Dude's my hero. He's the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? You know, went in there i was debating whether to go see the joker whether to go see gemini man everybody's been talking about how amazing the joker is and like you know i was debating with it but i was just like nah let me go see a will smith movie i'll probably enjoy that more anyway because i love will smith man that movie gemini man ugh, it it did it did not live up to the hype for those of you who are just coming into my life for the first time, spoiler alert, I'm giving, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Will Smith's Gemini, man. Um, wasn't a good movie, man. Hate to say it. Wish it was good. There were, I was really holding out hope until like the end of the movie. Um, well, first of all, let me say this. It started off well. It started off well. They really built the suspense well. The whole thing of uh, Will Smith against his younger self. They they had that suspense there very, very well. But the the second half was not good because, um, because they didn't live up to the expectation of Will Smith um, and his younger self battling against each other. And it didn't live up to the expectation of there being a winner. They did not live up to that expectation. What they did was, like, they had their fight scenes. And then in the end, the younger Will Smith ends up taking this, get, getting on the same team as the older Will Smith. And then a bunch of other stuff happens. And then, you know... There's like a scene where, you know, there's like there's like a, there's like another clone of Will Smith. So you're like, OK, like maybe they're going to have to fight against like an army of Will Smith, something like that. Like there were like a couple moments where I was just like, OK, like and the thing about it was is like when the younger Will Smith, um, you know, came on and sided with the older Will Smith, like in my mind, I was just like, OK, there must be a twist here. Like he must be doing some sort of double agent shit. The older Will Smith must know what the younger Will Smith is like. Something else is going on here. Like it can't be that it can't be that he, like these are the they, they know better than to than to do this, like obviously. But that's exactly how it turned out. It was just a really it was a really corny, very vanilla very underwhelming you know story structured thing like it, that, that that was just like not very good writing on the part of you know on the part of gemini man you know with that type of movie you kind of want there to be a battle and you want there to be a winner you want the younger will smith to kill the older will smith or the older will smith to kill the younger will smith and you know, I was definitely thinking about it. I was just like, man, like maybe, you know, as well as Will Smith is doing with, you know, the Instagrams and the TikToks and the YouTubes and all that good stuff, like he's killing it on social media. I also wonder if, I also wonder if he's not all the way up on the fact that this is a Game of Thrones generation, right? We want to see one of our favorite characters get killed. Like this is the generation that we're in. Like we're... 
we're we're, we're kind of done with you know the, the the clean endings and the the nice bow on top no like we want our hearts broken we want to see blood we want to see you know um you know uh, uh, uh an ending or like a storyline that's like completely you know realistic and um this movie definitely did not give us that at all did not give us that at all it was very it was very clean um oh boy boy oh boy oh boy and it even it, and it was just like full with you know corny lines right like there was a scene where you know at the end like you know everything's all good it's a nice sunny day and the young Will Smith looks at the old Will Smith and says, hey, I'm going to be okay. And then the older Will Smith looks at the younger Will Smith, looks at him and goes, if you're okay, I'm okay. It's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Are you serious? Are you for real? If you're okay, I'm okay. Like, come, come, like, come on, cuh. Come on, cuh. Will, you know better than that. Come on, man. Oh, man. It was... Oh, it breaks my heart, man. Breaks my heart. Wanted this movie. And apparently the movie's not doing very well in the box office either. Like, apparently, like, it's projected to be a flop. I did some research and just, like, you know, because I never look at what the critics say. I never look at the, what the critics say when it comes to movies. I always look at uh, box office because that's just more indicative of what an audience thinks. And uh, I'm shocked to find out that it, it's based on the 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 uh, box office receipts that came in yesterday on Thursday. I'm recording this on a Friday. Based on the box office receipts that came in on a Thursday, um, it's not doing well. It's not projected to do well. And that actually surprises me because the movie was promoted extremely well. Like, kudos to Will Smith. He was doing it on TikTok. He was doing it on Instagram. Very entertaining videos. There was no way you didn't know that the movie wasn't coming out. He did, like, really cool YouTube videos. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, it was almost... Yeah, it was... Um, the the movie definitely had the if the movie had lived up to the hype i think that it would be doing extremely well right now but i think that maybe they depended a little too much on the technical achievement of having a completely digitized character um in the movie rather than living up to the hype and like creating a great story um Cause I I'm, cause I am genuinely surprised that it it it's not bringing in money. Like I, I felt like at the very least, like okay, even though it's not a good story, it'll it'll get butts and seats because it's been promoted extremely well. But it doesn't even seem like it's doing that. Like obviously we'll see how things go as time goes. But like so far, it's it's <laughs> so far based on how much money was being spent versus how much they're bringing in, it it, it is not, it is not looking good at all it's looking like it's gonna be a flop um yeah man <sighs> man i don't even i don't even want to be doing this podcast right now to be honest with you i don't even want to be doing this live i don't want to be doing this i don't want to critique my boy will smith like this i don't want to i don't want to do this man y'all know how much i love will smith the dudes in like all the bunch of clips that i put before these podcasts the dude i ranted and raved about him in my very first Tunji's podcast I was talking about how much I loved him and how much I love how he's taking control of his career how he's evolved into the social media world as the, the only A-list celebrity to do all this stuff yada 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 boy 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 man I was holding out hope longer than like stuff was happening in that movie that and the reason why I'm doing this podcast though is because like if this was any other movie with any other star I would have been like critiqued it to the cows came home and even though it's my boy Will Smith man I gotta keep that same energy Gemini man unfortunately was disappointing I'm hoping bad boys for life is good I have my doubts about that movie too We'll see what happens, but yeah. Um, thank you to uh, the the one or two of you who've been sticking with me, listening to me. Just uh, man, I'm just so sad about that movie, man. It's just it wasn't good. It was it wasn't good. It, like it's worth it. It's it's worth the it's worth the watch. 
that's the thing that's the thing that's the last thing i'll say about this i think that it was hyped a lot and it didn't live up to the hype and i think that it was living up to the hype up until it got to the second half and the and, and when I say that the movie was disappointing, I think just ultimately the the how it how it the the solutions to the problems and the ending was just under par and disappointing. So anyways, y'all, that's it for me. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Peace.